This is going to be a wonderful follow-up to a story that we first covered for you last September. If you uh, were a part of it, you might remember the name Abby Elks. Uh, she is a youngster, a junior in high school. Uh, we were just talking off the air about some of her future plans, but she communicated with me. She reached out to me, uh, recognizing that I had a passion for animals, that I love um, I love our four-legged friends. I, I like to say I love dogs more than people because they deserve it, which I think they do. And Abby also has a passion for animals, and she told me about her passion for the Paws uh, event uh, that is soon to come. And um, she's back to tell us about the update and what's coming up, uh, not this weekend, but next weekend. Abby Elks joins us in studio. Hey, Abby. Hey, everyone. So I am so excited about this. I absolutely love animals. I have a passion for animals. Uh, I agree with Matt Murphy. I like animals more than people sometimes. Mm -hmm. Like, my dog is my best friend. And What's your dog's name? Daisy. Daisy. Daisy, yes. Yeah. I talked about a little bit Daisy last time I was on. How old's Daisy? Five. She's five. Okay. What kind of dog? You've she told me, but I don't remember. She's a standard poodle, but okay. I love her. The, the only kind of poodle in my estimate. I had a poodle <laughs> when I was a kid. Mean. Peppy. Mean. No, mean. I love anyway. my poodle. Anyway, so, um, so you've got Daisy. Yes. And you wanted to do something for animals that need adoption. Yes. Um, I hate when, you know, those sad commercials come on and they're like, adopt this dog. They're upset. They're sad. I hate those. And so I just want to make sure all people have a best friend like I do and animals have a good home. And so I have made it a priority this year for me to help as many animals get adopted as we can. And that is the goal for my adoption fair on April 6th. So April 6th is next weekend, and it, it is the date of our adoption fair. So far, we have seven sh sh shelters coming, and they're supposed to be bringing five to ten animals each. So we could have about 70 animals there that are looking for a great home. And not only is it dogs, but there's cats as well. So if you're not so much as a dog person, there will be kittens there. There will be cats there. So if you want a little baby, get you a little kitten. But if you want something a little more mature, there's going to be cats there, too. Mm -hmm. But same thing with dogs. There's going to be puppies, um, adult dogs, and dogs of all types of um, breeds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that is Tell April us where, tell where it's going to be. It's going to be at Davidson Academy in Nashville. Um, the address is 1414 Old Hickory Boulevard. Um, it's... It's my school. I love my school. school. Yeah, I yeah, love my sure. school. Yeah, no, no. Promote your school. Tell, tell us about Davidson. That's been a great education for you, huh? Yes. DA has, it's been great for me. It's pushed me academically, but it's also to the point where if I need help, I can get help. Mm -hmm. They're not just going to push you and push you and push you to the point where like you can't do it. They have so many different resources for if you need help with something, they're more than welcome to do that. My math teacher has been great with this. Uh, I'm not much as a, I'm not a math person at all. I'm more of like an English person. But my math teacher has set aside time every single morning to make sure that I'm making good grades. Good for her or him. I don't know. It's Miss. Her name is Miss Palmore. I Ms. love my teacher. Who's your favorite teacher? I just want to get you into a little bit of a trouble. <laughs> I, I don't have a favorite teacher that uh -huh. all helps me in so many you ways. You need to get Scott's a picky. Just point. I know what you're saying. I can't even say hear you. she's already a politician. You're, you need to get into politics. <laughs> That's a good answer. That's a great answer. All my teachers have helped me in many different ways. So uh, your mom and dad are here, and I don't mean to embarrass you or to embarrass them, but I said this the last time, and I want to say it again. What a wonderful job! How many kids do you guys have? Three, and is Abby the eldest? Middle. middle, middle child. Oh, yeah, that's right. We did talk about that last yes. time. Do you have the middle child complex? <laughs> I do. I don't even know what that is. Her dad, her dad yeah, just immediately know. started <laughs> shaking his head. Uh, your parents, I mean, Mister and Ms. Ellis, they're wonderful. I mean, do you yeah, do you have a good relationship with your folks? This is I an do. unfair question to ask you in front of them. No, I do. I have a good relationship with them. It's definitely been strengthened the past few years, but. I trust them with everything, and they've helped me with. They've helped me so much with this in general that I have a great relationship with my parents. Well, it's important that you have people in your life, whether they be your parents or your teachers or some, you know, loudmouth radio show host somewhere that want to <laughs> cultivate uh, these passions of yours. Because I, I just appreciate getting to meet a young person like you that is passion and focus driven on what you believe in and accomplishing some of these goals. I, I'm, what I'm excited about is seeing, uh, you know, the, the fruit of your labor next Saturday. I think it's going to be wonderful. I, I really hope it'll be a big event. I've We've worked so hard on broadcasting it to people, 
posting our flyers and small businesses that everybody goes to. We have done so much that we can to broadcast this to as many people as we can. Well, I'm here to tell you, and I was just going to throw this out at you when you got here, that I was unsure about whether or not I would be able to attend because I had something I had to do out of town. And my out-of-town thing has shifted to this weekend, so I'm going to be there. Yay. I'm very excited about this. I mean, I'm not that that's too. gonna. I mean, that might drive more people away than it will bring in. But I promise you, I'll play with all the puppies. That's that's good. I that's, hope there's a lot of people that come. Do you, uh, off the top of your head, do you remember some of the organizations that are coming? Like, do I you have them? I actually have a whole list of all of them. Oh, very phone. good. There you go. So uh, the confirmations that we have and people that are coming, we have Lifehouse Animal Rescue. Pity in Pink Pitbull Rescue, Aww. Metro Animal Care and Control, Middle Tennessee Boxer Rescue, Proverbs 1210 Rescue, Tidy Dog Grooming, Gussie Puppy, Robertson County Animal Shelter, Hillsboro Animal Hospital, Petco, The Magic Dog Bus, Paws and Claws of Hendersonville, Ready Vet, Preppy Pet, and that's like the shelters and the um, vendors that we have coming. Mm -hmm. But if you're afraid you might miss lunch, we have a food truck coming. Hello. And it's called Smoking Butts Barbecue, and you can't go wrong with barbecue. I don't know who in the South doesn't like barbecue. They've got sandwiches, nachos, just pulled pork. They've got everything you can think of. So shout out to Smoking Butts Barbecue, but they will be there. So don't be afraid about missing out on lunch. And also, you want a sweet treat? Kona Ice will be there. So you can't go wrong with Kona Ice. I, 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 I'm not going to interrupt you in the middle of your pitch. I love you. <laughs> I love the pitch. That's uh, I love everything about it. So what time does it start? It's going to be April 6th from 10 to 3. Vendors will be there around 845 to set up. And it'll end around. It'll end at 3, and they'll be there till about 430 or 5. So if you can't make it there until 230, don't worry. We're not going to push you out. Mm -hmm. um, go ahead. Do your shopping. Find you an animal that you love. And then as soon as everybody leaves, we will close out for the day. And the, uh, the the places like Proverbs and some of the other organizations that are bringing dogs, they're adopting on site. They'll vet people on site and do what they do. I mean, they all have their own process right. and procedures and whatnot. So. There are some animal shelters. I know Metro Animal Care and Control, they don't do off-site adoptions. Mm -hmm. But you start the application process and the adoption process there. You can do that at the adoption fair. But... For some of the shelters, you will not be walking home with a dog or a cat. You would have to go pick it up from their facility and meet them there. Well, right. in some facilities, um, and I know I experienced this in Birmingham. I've not adopted here in Nashville, but I know some facilities require uh, a, a home site inspection. And a lot of people get, you know, their their dander up when they say home site inspection. These are, you know, animals that you're going to put down if I don't. And, and I explain it simply as this they don't want to get them back and they right. want to make sure that they're in a forever home as opposed to putting them from a bad situation into another bad situation they're doing it for the animal they're just trying yes. to do it for your benefit and for the animal's benefit and all of the shelters that are going to be here and that we support are no kill shelters so all of the animals there have been well taken care of uh, recently, me and the officers in the Passion for the Paws, we went and we toured uh, Robertson County Animal Shelter and were able to give them a donation. Oh, my gosh. They did such a great job with their animals. Their animals, they were bathed. They had clean facilities. They had plenty of food. We got to see, like, go into their storage place to see, like, if there was anything we can do. They have a little vet clinic in their uh, shelter. So if an animal gets hurt, right on the spot they're able to get there help the animal and if it's something like big that they can't handle there they take it automatically and go to a a clinic but we support the non-kill shelters and the, the people who support the animals and don't just put them in a shelter and starve them we don't mm -hmm. we support those who are helping the animals abby you you you've done all of this yes this is kind myself, of, I mean, this, but. I mean, last September, it was kind of like one of those things where it would, you, you had all of this planning ready to go. You had just a couple of pieces in place. You kind of had a date in place and, and to talk to you now and you've managed between September and now to make all of this happen. Congratulations. Thank you. It's pretty good. We, what we need to do is make sure that people get out and adopt some animals. Yes. That yes. would be, that would be the ultimate, um, reward for all of your hard work. I hope a lot of people come out, but God's will will happen. And if a lot of people come, then a lot of people come. But all of the shelters that are there as well, 
again, they can't bring all of their animals due to the numerous amounts that they have. Mm-hmm. Um, if you're not feeling connected with an animal there, they will have bios and pictures of all of the animals in their shelters in general. So if you're not really connecting with an animal there, you can, you're can you more than welcome to look through the flyers and all of the animals that they have and see if there's another animal that you feel like you're connecting with. Several people on the Members Nutrition Super Text line are catching us in the middle of our conversation, and they're like, okay, who is this well-spoken young lady, and what is she doing? And I, here, Here's the, the deal, and Dad, you tell me if I'm right. Abby reached out to me. She said, I'm a junior at Davidson Academy. I want to do something for animals. I want to do something called Passion for the Passion for the Paws. Passion for the Paws. And um, and I said, great, come on the radio. I mean, and she is so focused. She's so well spoken. She's so learned in the uh, in the deal. It's just it's a passion of yours that you wanted to see to fruition, and you're doing it. And I just find it. I find you fascinating. I find your passion for the animals fascinating. And I'm supportive 100%. And if the, what what else can we do for you? I, I'm not sure. We did do a food drive for our, our school. We did a huge food drive for dry dog and cat food so that every person who adopts an animal, you get a free bag of dog or cat food to mm-hmm. go home. So if you're not super sure, like, oh, I just got a puppy. I don't know exactly what food that they need. We have puppy brand, adult brand, all the types of brands that you would need that are different for puppy and dog. We have that, and we're going to have a booth set up so that's school student-led, and we are going to give you a special bag of dog or cat food, depending on if you get a puppy or a dog or a cat. But it is dry on, by dry dog mm-hmm. or cat food only, so if anybody's willing to donate, um, that would be great. We're doing small bags so that we can give give them to people and not give somebody like a 10-pound bag right. of food. Just something to keep them for like a day or two so they can go get food. So if anybody is still wanting to donate dog or cat food for us, that would that would be great. How can people reach out uh, if they're interested in supporting the organization in that way or any other way? Uh, is there a way for them to reach out to you? Yes, we have a... Uh, official email it's passion for the pause at gmail.com no spaces no capital lowercase no and we're spelling pause like dog paws right yes p-a-w-s, P-A-W-S. Mm-hmm. but passion for the pause at gmail.com or we do have an instagram page that we are fairly active on um and it's just passion for the pause instagram um you can dm us through there and we'll be able to connect with people that way can i talk to your dad for a second yes may i abby no, pull the microphone. Oh no, you got to do it because I'm, I'm. Hey, Bell, give me, give me some, uh, give me some red over there on his mic. Um, how proud are you? Oh, my wife and I are super proud. You should be. We're proud of all three of our children. Um, but yeah, this, what she's done here with the students. Don't in her make school, me all. Don't get me teary now. <laughs> <laughs> but what but, she's done with the other officers and the students that have helped her with this have done a. They've done a phenomenal job. She's put this together in, you know, relatively short order with uh, the other kids at the school, and I just think that they've done a phenomenal job. Well, I think you and your wife have done a phenomenal job, and I told you that the last time, and I mean it. This is uh, this gives me hope for the future, right here. Yeah, she's uh, she's done well. She's committed to go to college, play college softball, and. Uh, she wants to be a lawyer and wow. one day be on the Supreme Court. So she's got she's got high aspirations. You need to you need to start challenge some of these nasty politicians in the General <laughs> Assembly, and, uh, and and maybe give them for a run for their money. Maybe it'll help with my debating skills. So I got you. I'll you got that. skills. I mean, I'll tell <laughs> oh yeah, you she's made skills. it to state and speech and debate. I yeah. bet she in has. TV broadcasting. Well, you need to keep out of broadcasting. <laughs> hey, well, we don't need. Is, is does she agree or disagree with the bill keeping emotional support animals out of restaurants? <laughs> Have well, you heard about this? I was just told about it before I came in here. I, I think it's sad because if I could, I would take my dog everywhere with me. My dog just doesn't like people, so I it's like I, she's my emotional support dog, and like I'm her emotional support person. Uh-huh. First thing she does when people walk in the door, she runs to me. So I I think it's sad. Like people should bring their animals everywhere. Well, you know, well I mean, I agree Scott Picky is one of the people that voted for it. Like yeah, no so, animals. Yeah, no animals. Uh, so it, oh. him and uh, he's a known. So Biggie's a known animal hater. It's true. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, I'm gonna keep. <laughs> We're kidding. We're joking around. Against myself right now. Uh, he's like, about to club me with the disinfectant yeah, your, your, can your, here. Your dad, man, real quick. Your dad mentioned that you uh, 
you've accepted an opportunity to go to college in Kentucky, right? Yes, I have. You're going to play softball. You're going to play some softball in college? Yes, I went on a catcher middle infield scholarship, but it's great. I loved it. Fell in love with the school. If anybody's looking for a great Christian school who puts students first, it is Kentucky Christian University. That's in Grayson, Kentucky. It's about 20 minutes south of Ashland, Kentucky. Um, it was great. It was beautiful. It I loved it. When so you you expect that you'll begin in the fall? Yes, the right? fall of and, uh, next fall. Yes. Oh, so between now and then, have you thought about um, have you thought about doing radio shows? Because I could use a replacement when I'm on vacation and whatnot. I would love that. Yes, I will do that for you. I, I would... will. I will. If your mom and dad allow that to happen, I would absolutely. I mean now. It's three hours. It's a lot I, of time. I like talking, so it's cool. No, I, I think you'd it. be. I think you'd be good at it. I, I think I would a love little that. too good. I don't like. I don't like my guest hosts to be too good. So you might be a little too good. At well, it. I would love that. I would love that opportunity. I would love to. We do might that. make that happen. I think it would be a lot of fun. That would be so much fun. That would be so much fun. All right, so let's uh, let's go over the details one more time, real quick. Uh, it's not this Saturday, but next Saturday. Yes. Give me all the details about the event. Uh, next Saturday, April sixth, from ten to three, um, we have vo- vo- a bunch of volunteers being there to help uh, associate with you with parking and where to go and all of that. So don't be afraid of like not knowing where to park. We have all of that laid out. There will be signs posted along the roads. And along the school driveway so that you're able to see, oh, where exactly do I need to park? Um, let me see what else I have written down. We have live music going to be there. Uh-huh. Right. Uh, the students at DA are incredible with all of their different talents. And we have a bunch of students who are very musically inclined. And we have some great singers and bands that are coming to, you know, just provide a little bit of entertainment. We've got worship teams from churches coming. And we just want to spread the gospel as much as we can. The music is going to be solely Christian based because you can encounter God at any moment. No matter if it's just listening to music, driving down the road, you can encounter God at any moment. And not only am I helping animals, I want to witness to other people. So if they see, oh, okay, like they're doing this, like this is a Christian school, a Christian girl, a Christian organization. What what makes this different? Mm -hmm. What's different about this than everything else? I want them to be able to see God through it and see God just through these animals because I truly believe animals are angels that God has sent down to protect us. So I just want people to be able to encounter God at any moment. So, Well, good for you. And I, I, I think you're an angel sent from God as well, Abby. I, I really mean that. And thank you for following up i'm i'm proud to say that we'll be there uh next saturday awesome. uh we'll get out we'll buy some food from the food trucks and try not to adopt a dog as best as, as we can but I'll that, try not we might to. we might fail i mean you I, should. You i've been should. i've been a failure in dog adoption a lot are you a little worried that you might meet a a, a dog a, a brother or a sister for daisy you see my mom's already put the foot down and said no come on mama. But mom's gonna be mama. there mom's gonna be there so we're hoping, I'm hoping, maybe, that there will be this cute little poodle that's, or this animal magic. that's There'll hypoallergenic that just runs up to my mother magic. and my mom can't say no. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping we'll find another little love, little love bug. But well, yeah. Everybody's saying how awesome you are, <laughs> and I want everybody to show how awesome you think Abby is by going out to her event on April 6th from 10 until 3 at Davidson Academy. Where's Davidson again? Uh, 1414 Old Hickory Boulevard. An old, well, which could be anywhere because there's somebody old. <laughs> <laughs> Just do what? Uh, oh, your mom's talking to you in the background. It's at exit 40 on off I-24 towards uh, Clarksville. There you, you go. Get off of that exit and you just go down that go down the road. It's like straight there. Right, yeah, so. just, y'all just look it up. 1414 yeah. Old Hickory Boulevard. I was just picking on you about the Old Hickory <laughs> Boulevard thing, but I look, as a newbie in town, I get it. Uh, thank you, Abby, for everything. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ms. Elks, for everything. Uh, God bless you guys, and we'll see you next Saturday. Thank you.